Good morning and welcome back once again. So in today's tutorial, we want to learn how to draft a male senator shirt that will have a button down and have a collar and two patch pockets. So you would like to stay tuned to the end of this video to learn how to do this. So the first thing you need to do here is to get your fabric on fold in this form and then you are going to fold your button allowance. But before you do that, you know, you have to make sure the fabric is properly ironed. There should be no rumples on the fabric or whatsoever. So once you have ironed out the whole fabric point, then the next to do is to fold your bottom allowance. And you are going to fold half an inch first, this way. You fold half an inch first in this form. And then you go ahead to fold the last bottom allowance. So now, after you must have folded the half an inch first, now it is wise that you measure out the shirt length. Now the shirt length will be a guide, a guide to know where the folding will stop. So now the shirt length we have is the shirt length of um, 32, right? So you add extra, three inches to that, that's 35. So you will mark at the five inches point here. So this will be the point where your folding should stop because of the three inches you added for your allowance for the shirt hemming, right? Now, after this, you bring your hemming gun this way. It's advisable that you, first of all, hem the half an inch that you have folded. The reason for this is to avoid air at the bottom allowance. If you don't have it, you will have that bubble effect at the outer layer of your shirt. Then after which, you know, you go as well. You go as well, go to the length of your shirt. Then after that, the next you will do now will be you fold your desired um, button allowance. So which is um, one inch, one inch, you know, the maximum you can put here is 1.2, 1.3. Don't exceed folding off 1.2, 1.3 for your button allowance for all adults. The one inch is recommended, then fold in this form. So make sure that whatever you are folding must be equal. So once you have also your folding in that form, then you open it up again and add your hemming gun inside. Now, by the use of hemming gun, you know, it makes your work neater and more relaxed. So place hemming gun inside this way and then fold. Fold. A strand of hemming gun is enough to fold all through to the very end. So what you did here is what you also do on the second layer of your bottom allowance. So now I am done folding the second one. You know, I just have to turn the fabric the other way around. Did the same folding I did on the first stage. So this is the two folds. So once you are done with the folding, this is where your work starts. You know, make sure every other panel or area is properly arranged. Then you iron out any rumple, if there is any, on your fabric. Iron it out. Don't draft when your fabric is wrong. It will, you know, alter the measurements you have added. After you must have done the whole ironing or pressing, whichever one you want to call it, you know. Now the next to do now is to start applying your measurements. So make sure that every panel are properly arranged. Then to, mark, to place your measurements, you mark out your baseline. You mark out your baseline from here. 
just mark out the baseline from here. And then you impute your shirt length plus extra three inches. So shirt length is three inches extra. So we are going to use the total of um, 34, like I said. So just mark three inches here for the hemming of the base. Bear in mind that this is for your senator shirts. Marking this form. So if you have been watching the way I draft my normal senator outfit, you won't have issues with this as well. Because we are going to use the same method or similar procedure we use on our senator drafting. So after that, you put your shirt length right here, and then you have it coming out from here. After this, you get your armhole. Your armhole is gotten from the chest of a four. Now the chest is 40. By four is 10. So because we are doing a short leaf for this shirt, we don't need to deduct or minus any one inch. We are going to mark 10 for the armhole. Except if you now decide to give it more fitting on the armhole, you can now decide to deduct half on your own determination. Then mark the armhole line this way. And after that, be in mind, that the center of this folding is from where your chest measurement will start from. The center of the button allowance is where your chest will start from. Because the bottom comes at the middle of this folding. That means your chest starts from the midpoint. So from the middle of the folding, you mark your chest measurement, which is 40. That's 10. This way. And then you mark extra one and a half or two. This way. The same thing applied on the shoulder. The middle as well is still where it will start from. Shoulder is um, 17 and a half. Then plus half on the slip joining that 18. Then slope your tape. Like um, two and a half inch downwards this way. You mark it in this form. And then mark 2.5 inch down for the shoulder slope to get your um, intercept here. So you'll get this cross like mark here, after which you apply your neckline. So the neck is 17. Divided by 6, you have 2.83. So from the formula of the neck, I do give us neck over 6 minus 0.3 for the width. Then to get the depth, you have to add half inch to that to get your depth. So in this case, our neck is 17 by 6 gives us 2.83. If you deduct 0.3 from it, you have 2.53. So from there, you will just mark 2.5 from the center point this way and go which was. Then add half to the 2.5, that's 3. You mark 3 inches down for the neck depth. Then connect the lines in this form. Take your photo master, connect the lines in this form, this way. Connect the lines in this form as well. And then slope it from there to the neck edge in this way. Use your pattern master, place in a slanted form, make a curve that cut across from here up through to this very point. After which, slope your ruler from the shoulder slant to come into the angle line by one inch in, and then use your pattern master, place your armhole off to cut across this line by half of an inch, and then connect properly in this form. So this is your armhole connection. Then after this, you bring the measurements that you have from the total chest of a four plus two inches to the Edge of the fabric is 12.25. Apply it somewhere at the base, 12.25. This way, right? From that point, come up by six inches for your side slit opening. Also, apply the same measurement you have on the chest this way. Come out by one half inch this way, and then you connect 
But then, before you do the extra connection, you consider if the back panel here would be enough for the back panel, so that this encroachment will not alter the measurement you will have. So let's cross check. How do you cross check? Measure from the total distance of the chest allowance to the middle of the chest, and then consider if it will enter here, which is very much okay, it enters, so I'm okay with this. Then you bring down the one and a half inch extension for the side slit opening. So this is how it will look like. So having seen this, now this is how to draft the front panel and then you cut accordingly. Now in most cases, you know, most people will cut the shirt neckline. This one should go a bit higher this way, you know, before this cut the major neck, just something of this nature. You know, they do this to make sure that when fixing the collar, the neckline does not um, drop more than expected. So you can still do this, you know, it gives you an edge to perfectly fix your collar without a dropping neck. So you cut all through this way, and then you also cut all through from the armhole line to this very point. And then you also cut from here to this very point. So if you like this video, kindly drop your comments and ask questions where needed. So we are done with the front panel. So we are going to place now to cut the back. All right, so now we are done ironing the back panel. So we want to place and cut for the front. Now, you know, in this whole cutting, there are different methods to do this, but this one I'm showing you is one of the simplest methods you can see out there, and it's well straight to the point. So for us to cut the back, we are going to place this front panel um, to be at the midpoint of this bottom allowance. This bottom allowance will be pushed to be at the middle of the back folding, right? So you make sure it's placed at that center point, of the back folding, you know, arrange the whole panels to align as stated this way. So once you arrange it to align as stated in this form, now the next you will do will be to raise the back by 2.5 inch this way and 2.5 inch as well in this form. So we are going to use the single back facing method to do this. 2.5 inch this way and then slope your ruler to go in this way and then the next you will do will be the neck depth of 1.5 for your back neck depth then with the help of your pattern master you place your pattern master in this form and then curve the neckline depth to come all through this way and the next you will do is to cut as well. You see that the bat does not have much work to do. The major work is on the front panel. So once you are able to get the front rightly, the back will not give you issues anymore. And also know how to place the front to the back and they're good to go. Then you record. The cut as shown Make sure everything is properly aligning. And then, once you're done with this, you're not going to raise it up yet. You're going to fold the back panel to come in front this way. Now, the extent of the folding will be like 1.5 to 2 inches folding. And then, you trim off any protrusion on the armhole line or on the neckline. So this one has only protrusion on the neckline. I'm trimming up the excesses here. While the armhole was perfectly connected. So we are done cutting the front and the back panel. So the next is the sleeve. So for the sleeve drafting, you know, you just have to bring the fabric as well in this form. Just cut out, you know, the excesses. From, from here, just trim it out. 
then the folding is one particular thing I want to explain to us. Now, in cutting your sleeve, you don't just fold with assumption. You fold with a particular um, format or reason. And what is that reason? The reason would be you must fold in line with your customer's round sleeve measurement over two plus extra four inches. So the round sleeve we have is a round sleeve of uh, 14. Sorry, uh, round sleeve of um, yeah, 14. 14. So you fold 14 divided by two. That's seven plus extra four. That's um, 11. So you will measure 11 inches here. Your folding must be 11 inches. Now, after you have gotten your folding 11 inches, it's also advisable that you iron out your fabric. You iron out your fabric this way. Now, this sleeve, we have a particular turn off. Not the regular one we do on our segmental outfit, the one you cut and join. But this one will be resting on top of the board of the sleeve. The turn off will be resting on top this way. It's called turn off, not the one we cut and join on the sleeve. So this one is different because of the nature of the outfit. Right? So how do you do that? Then with the help of the bottom master as well, you mark out your baseline this way. Mark out your baseline. Now the sleeve length we have for the short sleeve is 9.5. They add extra one inch to that. 9.5 plus one is 10.5. So why are you adding one inch? Half inch to join to the shoulder, half inch to join the tunnel to read. Remember, I said the turn up we are doing here is not the one of Senator with minus two inches and then add one inch again. This one we are using the men's sleeve length to cut it. The turn up will rest on top. I'm not joining a joint turn up, right? So now you mark um, 10.5 just like this. So in such cases, just mark at 11 so that after the whole story, you now know the sleeve length is not going to be short. That what you expect. So you drop the line in this form and the round sleeve we have is 14 like I said, by 2 is 7. You mark 7, 1.5 extra. Then from here, you mark 4 inches. 4 inches. Then you connect these 4 inches you marked here. It's called the inner arm. Straight down to the sleeve unfold. Then from there, measure the total distance from there to here is 13. The middle is 6.5. Middle here is um, 3.25. And middle here is um, 9.25 as well, right? They went into four equal parts. So after which, the middle point, leave it untouched, this middle one. And the first quarter come up by half an inch in this form. And come down here by one inch and then with your free hand sketch connect from here to the half an inch to the middle and back to the one inch and back to the four inches here and then connect in this form and you are done cutting the sleeve so i will also show you how to cut the corner up as well so you will learn the boat at once so now Cut out this all through this way. Then for the turn up, 